So welcome back. Another episode is here, uh, the class of 1991. It's been a little while since I've done one of these for the Nintendo. For the Game Boy, different story, but for the Nintendo it's been a little while. So anyways, 1991, it is the beginning of the end for the NES. It's starting to wind down a bit. There's still a lot of great games coming out um, on the NES in 1991. But um, definitely the wheels are turning a bit slower now, now, now that they're moving to the uh, Super Nintendo. But there is still a lot of great gaming to be had. So with that said, let's check out some of the valedictorians for the year of 1991. Again, you must don armor and steel and rise up against an evil force that plagues the entire world. The king has tasked you to defeat the evil demon Baramos, so wrangle up some of the locals at the tavern, because up to three party members will accompany you this time. Dragon Warrior 3 boasts a lot of staples that we take for granted in our RPGs today. A day and night system, job class system, as well as a choice to pick either a male or female lead. You can even buy lottery tickets. Dragon Warrior 3 is often regarded as one of the best installments of the series. If you love football and you love the NES, chances are you have this game. With a built-in save battery, you can guide your favorite NFL team to the Super Bowl. With an official roster from the Players Association, tons of stat tracking, excellent graphics, and a boosted up playbook, Techno Super Bowl keeps the simplicity of the original and adds so many great new features, it'll keep any hardcore sports fan happy. Gotham City has never looked darker or better than Return of the Joker. He plays the Cape Crusader and take on the Joker who has recently broken out of Arkham Asylum and running amok with his pals in the city. This time around you're powering up your batarangs mounted on an armed cannon. Shooting various lighter boxes nabs you different types of weapons, which is pretty cool. Large, interesting bosses, several challenging levels, not to mention flying around on a jetpack, as well as excellent Sunsoft music await you. With your prized pupil choking out his last words, Marion has been kidnapped and won't be released until you find and retrieve three sacred stones of power. We're globe trotting in this installment, taking you to the United States, China, Italy, as well as Egypt. Known for its bone-crushing brutality, Double Dragon 3 offers no extra lives and only supports one continue. However, you are able to enlist the help of two other main characters in your quest. With great graphics, plenty of moves, well, lots of moves actually, lots of weapons, and excellent music. Double Dragon 3 should not be missed. They say good things come in small packages. Well, watch out, kitchen table, because here comes the micro machines. Arguably the best unlicensed NES game, this school cart has some serious racing action in it. Diversity in vehicles, the track layouts are fun whether you're driving on a pool table in a sandbox or even in the bathtub. This game just never gets old. Some people say that Rad Racer is the king of driving games on the NES, but Micro Machines gives it a great run for its money. If the first installment was a bit too rough on you, Adventure Island 2 is definitely more user friendly. You play as the incomparable Master Higgins and must guide the rotund island dweller across eight islands to save Tina. But you're not alone in your journey. Oh no, helping you out are four dino buddies who have your back. You can even save them for further use as well as any weapons with your inventory screen. Trust me, this alone makes the game a lot more manageable. Pair this with cute graphics, nice music, secrets galore, and you have a hit. You are Nova, chief security agent and protector of the master computer. Aliens have taken the computer offline and your duty is to retrieve six data tapes and restore the colony. The game was developed by Natsume, who have a nice little track record on the NES. They certainly don't give as much love as they should. But with that said, you can choose one of six stages from the get-go. You can power up your main weapon, which is a boomerang, as well as collect the helmet, which transforms you into a power suit and makes you even stronger. It's pretty cool. Power Blade is a fantastic game with good visuals, excellent music, and simple gameplay. If you don't have this game, you're really missing out. Ryu Hayabusa, the feared ninja master from two other successful NES stints, is back. This time, you've been framed for murder. And worse yet, your best girl, Irene, was the one killed. Ryu must gather clues and bring the people responsible for this injustice to justice. The gameplay has been refined to near perfection. You can climb up walls easier, hang off of platforms, upgrade your sword, use a variety of ninfo magic. Out of all the games listed here, Ninja Gaiden 3 has the best cutscenes and story bar none. The graphics are some of the best of the year, and the music matches here too. Pimple and the Princess were out cruising around in outer space when a Dark Queen decides to kidnap them. Good thing Pimple has friends, rations this to be exact, and they're hopping mad and out to smash everything in their path to get them back. The sheer variety in this game is astounding. In the beginning you think this is going to be your standard beat-em-up, right? Well, that's squashed by the second level as you're rappelling down a crater. 
and once you make it to level 3, you definitely know this isn't your standard beat em up. So you have to slog through 11 levels to get your revenge, and each stage presents a unique twist or outright new mechanic to figure out and play with. That's one of the best qualities about this game. Oh, it's also very, very hard. There's your valedictorian for 1991, and it's been a very good year on the NES. So, um, wrapping things up, I just want to say uh, thank you to all those that voted on various polls that I sent out um, on either YouTube via email contact, um, Facebook uh, chat groups, as well as Nintendo Age. NintendoAge.com is a wonderful site for any hardcore NES gamer. Um, yeah, so that really about wraps things up, so whether I'm going to, to do a uh, class of NES 1992, I'm not too sure when I'm going to do that yet. It might be a little while again, who knows, it's just whatever I really feel like making these videos, but uh, I really um, I really wanted to try, uh, try out the, the year of 1991 because there's a lot of great games that came out, like Batman Return of the Joker. And, Double Dragon 3, which was one of my personal favorites, and then Trial 2 and all that other fun stuff. Dragon Warrior 3. Ugh, Power Blade. The list goes on and on and on. And on. But anyways, guys, uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments section below what you thought uh, the best game of 1991 on the NES was. So, for in the meantime, in between time, this is the Max Pack 24 channel. For those about to retro, we fucking salute you. See ya.